Now on 18 Eyewitness News. Farmington schools are upgrading their technology. Construction in Fredericktown's Rotary Park should be done next week. Plus, Clay Waller's attorney is asking a judge to move his client's murder trial. All of these stories, and will we see any rain this weekend? Coverage you can count on. This is 18 Eyewitness News. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Fred Dawkins, and here are the top stories that we're working on this hour for you. With the start of a new school year, students in the Farmington area are finding new resources to help them succeed. School Superintendent Dr. Natalie Thomas says the district has put a program in place to give students more time in the classroom. They will have a night school option so that those students who may need some extended time at the high school, we have a program and services and resources that are there. Dr. Thomas says new curriculum and instructional pieces have been brought in as well. In addition, a significant number of computers will be replaced. We will be switching out about a fourth of our, our computers by the end of the first semester um, to make sure that our computers are operational and can um, meet the needs that students have. And so we have a replacement plan and we're pleased about that. Dr. Thomas says the district is also piloting some new programs involving tablets and other forms of technology. Well, now Dustin Kopp is here with a look at our first forecast. Dustin? Good evening, Fred. Good evening, everybody. Temperatures this hour are on the warm side in southeast Missouri. 90 degrees in Festus, 89 in St. Genevieve and Fredertown, as well as in Piedmont, Poplar Bluff at 88 and 88 right now in Van Buren. Going through the evening hours, partly sunny skies, 7 p.m., 88 degrees, 80 by 9 with partly cloudy skies and partly cloudy skies at midnight with temperature around 74. Some showers and thunderstorms are on the way for tomorrow evening. All those details coming up later in weather. The new restrooms at Fredericktown's Rotary Park will be ready by September 1st. Mayor Kelly Karokas gave 18 Eyewitness News that estimate on Thursday. She told us the water line is already in. We should have the sewer in this week and then whatever last minute stuff that needs to go in, I think it's more or less the, uh, you know, like the, the sinks and, and stuff like that. So as soon as that's put in. The project was started earlier this summer in Fredericktown. The outside walls and most of the roof were completed when Karoka says the city had to issue a stop work order. When anyone does any kind of work on city property, we need a hold harmless agreement. And that was kind of the hold up because some of the things that was in the hold harmless agreement they didn't agree with. And so, you know, we came to a compromise and uh, that worked out. Karoka says the cost of the restrooms and walking trail in Rotary Park are covered by a grant from the Missouri Foundation for Health. Clay Waller's attorney is asking a judge to move his client's murder trial to a different county. Chris Davis filed a charge of venue motion on Thursday. Davis has said that the intense local media coverage would prevent Waller from getting an impartial jury in Cape Girardeau County. Circuit Court Judge Ben Lewis is expected to wait until Waller's case review is up on October 22nd to rule on that motion. Waller is charged with first-degree murder in the death of his estranged wife, Jackie, who disappeared last June 1st. Well, final preparations are underway for the upcoming Deloge Labor Day picnic. The weekend celebration, sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce, gets underway next Friday, August 31st, and runs through Monday, September 3rd at the Deloge Park. City Administrator Greg Camp is looking forward to this year's one last summer blast. Uh, I know Chris Nelson, the president over there, bouncing ideas off of uh, myself and other folks all the time about what do you think about this, what do you think about that. So uh, one last summer blast I, I know is their theme and I, it, it sounds like based on some of the ideas they have, uh, they're going to have a kid zone and a whole bunch of other new ideas that I think is probably going to be one of the best Labor Day picnics ever. So looking forward to it. The all-new Kids Zone will feature water activities, puppet shows, treasure hunts, and new surprises each day. The picnic will also showcase entertainment, fun, and games, and the parade Monday morning at 9. And when we come back on 18 Eyewitness News, we'll tell you how the drought will affect food prices. That story coming up only on 18 Eyewitness News.
When you're looking for quality home furnishings, appliances, and more, look no further than Heartland Furniture and Appliance. Heartland Furniture and Appliance offers great low prices every day and six months same as cash financing. No hassle leasing and great customer service. With three locations to better serve you, the customer. In Donovan, Dexter, and Piedmont on both sides of Main Street. Heartland Furniture and Appliance. Sing a song about the Heartland. Sing a song about my life. Oh, the blood of Jesus washes. Let it wash you this morning. Oh, the blood of Jesus shed for. Take control of your future by enrolling at the Unitech Career Center. Discover a new career with Unitech's nursing programs or the opportunities with Unitech's sheet metal fabricating program. Or turn your hobby into a career with Unitech's power sports equipment program. From electrical trades to automotive technology programs, the first step to a well-paying future starts at the Unitech Career Center, Raider Road in Bon Terre. For adult information, call 358-3011. For high school information, call 358-2271. You're watching 18 Eyewitness News with Fred Dawkins, Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp, and Jeremy Martin with Sports. 18 Eyewitness News continues. With the latest drought monitor map showing all of southeast Missouri in either an extreme or exceptional condition, folks are wondering how this will translate to food prices. Missouri Farm Bureau spokesperson Diane Olson tells 18 Eyewitness News the effect may be delayed because most food takes six to nine months to be processed before it reaches store shelves. However, she notes that some producers uh, are liquidating their herds. Some prices could fall before they increase. We're going to see, you know, quite a bit of particularly beef on the market. So we may actually see some price decreases in the short run, but then as, you know, that supply is diminished and those those herds have not been rebuilt, then we could actually see those beef prices increase. Diane says farmers receive just a small part of your food dollar. So when production costs increase, everybody feels the pain. One of the things that people don't understand is that what you pay at the grocery store, the farmer on average only receives about 16% of that. So if you spend a dollar for food, you know, 16 cents or less goes back, depending on the commodity, to the farmer. So if they're paying higher input prices, they, you know, they're struggling to actually stay afloat, even though the consumer is paying more for the food. Diane says consumers could see prices increase faster on those commodities which need less processing, such as milk and eggs. Well, after ignoring calls from party leaders to drop out of the U.S. Senate race, Republican candidate Todd Aiken is finding others in the party are turning their back on him as well. Most recently, the Butler County Republican Central Committee disinvited Aiken from their September 8th Reagan Days event in Poplar Bluff. Now, according to media reports, County GOP Chairman Eddie Justice said having Aiken at the event would have been a distraction for other candidates. Missouri State Representative Steve Cookson will have an opponent in the November general election after all. Tuesday, Secretary of State Robin Carnahan announced that Jack Skip Johnson had been certified to run as an independent against Cookson for the House of Representatives 153rd District. Now, to be certified as an independent, Johnson had to submit valid signatures of district registered voters equal to at least 2% of the total number of votes cast in the district's last election. Cookson, the fair-dealing Republican, is completing his first term in the Missouri House. Well, still to come on 18 Eyewitness News, the link between a healthy heart and a good night's sleep. Why this heart hospital is keeping an eye on patients 24 hours a day. That's next in your health. The weekend's here and we've got some rain on the way. Details coming up next in weather.
When someone comes in a mineral area's emergency department, our focus is giving them the best treatment in the quickest manner possible. We track every single patient, sending the doctors information before they even walk in the room. We have dedicated x-ray and CT equipment in our emergency department. We don't have to waste any time running all over the hospital. We know that minutes count in an emergency, and you can count on ER Plus at Mineral Area Regional Medical Center. Now, here's your Storm Tracker 18 weather forecast with Chief Weathercaster Dustin Kopp. And welcome back. We do have some showers and thunderstorms moving in the forecast. We'll show you that coming up in just a little bit. But right now, looking at weather headlines, as we were saying, temperatures are going to continue to be warm through Saturday. Much cooler weather moves in for Sunday. And it looks like temperatures or excuse me, thunderstorms rather will be in the area for Sunday. Or, well, let's say Saturday evening in to Sunday and lasting through Monday. Here in southeast Missouri, temperatures are in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. 90 in Festus, 89 in Potosi and Ironton, Van Buren at 88, 88 in Poplar Bluff and Cape Girardeau right now at 88 degrees as well. Currently here in southeast Missouri at the station, temperature around 90 degrees with what well, feels like 90 out there. Under a partly cloudy sky, dew point 55, 29% humidity, and a south wind at 8 miles per hour. Going through the day tomorrow, we're going to see partly cloudy skies in the morning hours, increasing clouds, and then we're going to start seeing this weather system off to our west move in our direction for late Saturday into Sunday. So for tonight, clear skies for the most part, maybe a partly cloudy sky, 65 for the overnight low, south wind 5 to 10, 63 in Festus, 63 in Potosi, 63 in Ellington, Van Buren, 61 in uh, Piedmont, rather, at 64. Then for tomorrow, 92 degrees, probably cloudy skies, 95 in Festus, 93 in Potosi, 93 in Ellington, Van Buren, 92, and 93 in Poplar Bluff. The next several days are looking like this here in southeast Missouri. Showers and thunderstorms start moving in Saturday evening into Sunday. Sunday's daytime high 86 degrees as well as on Monday with some showers and thunderstorms. Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday temperature in the low 90s and then 91 on Friday with some scattered thunderstorms. And now look at our weekend forecast. We do have partly cloudy skies 92 degrees on Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms moving the forecast late Saturday into Sunday and then high on Sunday with around 86 degrees. Let's check out your storm tracker weather forecast. More details are located at kdkz18.com. Just click on the weather tab. Fred, back to you. Thanks, Dustin. By the end of the year, a million more Americans will have spent time in the hospital for heart failure. That number has tripled in the last 30 years. Heart failure is the number one reason people are admitted. Those patients all undergo a battery of tests to see how strong their heart is, but at one hospital, patients are automatically tested to see how well they sleep. As Clark Powell shows us, there's new evidence linking sound sleep to healthy hearts. If the walls of Chris Kazmerzak's home could talk, they'd tell stories of a life in the spotlight. This former professional wrestler has spent a career with elite athletes and movie stars alike. But a heart condition known as atrial fibrillation made Chris's heart beat erratically and ended his career suddenly. It got to be so frustrating that what I wanted to do, I couldn't do anymore. My atrial fib was stopping me from doing it anymore. So I, I stopped doing the in-ring portion of wrestling. For years, Chris was treated with medicine to control his heartbeat, but now he also uses this. It's called a CPAP device. Doctors at Ohio State University Medical Center have found sleeping with this device helps patients so much that now everyone here who is admitted for heart problems is automatically checked for sleep problems too. We decided that these patients should actually get the benefit of diagnosis and treatment immediately when they're in the hospital. Dr. Rami Kayat led the study. He says as many as three out of four patients who have heart failure also have sleep apnea and treating them immediately can help them considerably. Patients often lose weight and lower their blood pressure all while they sleep. We found that the patients who were treated in the hospital experienced significant benefit in their cardiac function just within few days. Uh, at the time of discharge, their cardiac function was significantly better than the ones who were not treated in the hospital. 
In the past, patients may have to wait weeks or months to get tested and treated for sleep apnea if they were treated at all. But by addressing the problem at the hospital, patients can rest easier at home knowing just how much this can help. At Ohio State University Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting. The study found that CPAP machines boosted the efficiency of the heart by as much as 15%. They work by gently blowing air into your nose to keep you breathing during the night and to prevent you from snoring. Coming up in today's Your Life segment on 18 Eyewitness News, dysfunctional families are a prime time hit and that can hit home with your children. It's parenting Hollywood style on today's Focus on the Family. Your health is brought to you by Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy. Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy of Deloge, where caring for you and about you is our business. From taking time to explain your medication, offering a caring touch to a full line of medical equipment, supplies, and diabetic shoes. We'll help you understand your options and assist you with Medicare drug plan enrollment with a comfortable waiting area, convenient drive through or free delivery. Caring for our neighbors is our business. Your locally owned Parkland Health Mart Pharmacy just off of Highway 67 at the Deloge exit. When you're recovering from a traumatic injury, the last thing you need is an unexpected bill. Because most health insurers pay only a part of air transport, Our Chair Medical has a solution, the Omni Advantage Program. For a membership fee of $49 per year, Omni Advantage guarantees you and other covered family members will not have to pay anything that your health insurer doesn't provide. In an extraordinary emergency, the last thing you need to worry about is cost. Contact Our Chair Medical or visit them on the web to discover all the advantages of Omni Advantage. Many parents wouldn't allow their kids to watch a movie or TV show with inappropriate content. But what about not-so-obvious messages that kids are absorbing from their entertainment? Dr. Bill Meyer is here now with some thoughts about the media and values in today's Focus on the Family. Kate, you don't have to be married to have a kid. In our last segment, we talked about the distorted view of marriage that Hollywood often sends out. One of the most damaging is that it's simply unnecessary, even if you're going to have kids. That's a concept heavily underscored in the film Baby Mama. It was all about a single mother determining because she had a lot of bucks what to do so that she could be more fulfilled in her life by having a baby, not by what would be ideal for that baby about to be. There's a mountain of research showing the most stable, nurturing environment for children is a home with a married mom and dad. Not only is this truth virtually ignored by Hollywood, but the entertainment industry seems to delight in depicting the most dysfunctional families possible. It's always kind of the, um, the unhealthy family uh, stories and, and situations like that that seem to get pushed to the forefront and highlighted. Especially with reality shows out these days. Dave and Liz do their best to shield their young children from misleading messages about family, but they're finding it a challenge. You can really turn on the TV at any time and see something that you probably wouldn't want your kids to watch. Even more disturbing, parents like the Taylors have realized that their family values have run smack up against those depicted in much of today's entertainment. They really don't display through the media what is right and what is wrong. It's everything is okay and everybody should be at least tolerant to what somebody else thinks is okay. Not everything is okay, not everything is, is acceptable. Yeah. Um, and right and wrong is, is not a matter of, of personal preference. Bottom line, make sure the values you want to teach your kids get equal time. For Focus on the Family, I'm Dr. Bill Meyer. For more valuable information on life's issues, relationships, and family, please visit our website at kdkz18.com and click on Focus on the Family under the Lifestyles tab. Today's Plugged In Movie Review looks at the new movie, Premium Rush. Life moves quickly in Manhattan, but the movie Premium Rush makes it clear that the traffic sure doesn't. I like to ride. That, however, is why bike messenger Wiley loves his job. He feels a certain power and freedom as he flies around swerving cars, dodges taxi cab doors, and shoots for the tiniest hole to make it through a red light. 
Of course, all the freedom in the world won't pay the bills. So when Wiley sees how light his pay envelope is, he decides to take a last minute premium rush delivery. Sure, it's all the way across town, but he's as good as they come. He'll make it. Hey, that envelope you picked up, I gotta ask for it back. No sooner does he stuff it in his pack, though, things start going south. Your name, family, people who care if they see you again. Who are you, man? A guy gets a little rough trying to snatch the delivery away. And when Wiley zips off, the guy takes chase in his car. Wiley, what did you do to me, man? Just about the time that this cat and mouse runaround gets really serious and the police join in, Wiley starts wondering if his $30 delivery fee might be a little low. This fast-paced action adventure does have its share of Race the Streets excitement, and there's even some heroic bravery on display. But that doesn't make up for the movie's gaping logic holes, ample crass and profane dialogue, and eventual bloody violence. In fact, Barely a minute goes by without a harsh profanity of some kind. I'm afraid Premium Rush deserves only two blown tires out of five for family friendliness. For more on the film, or really anything else playing at your local theater, visit us first at PluggedIn.com or download one of our smartphone apps. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Bob Walshewski for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review. You can find reviews of other current movies, DVD releases, as well as music, games, and TV shows all at our website, kdkz18.com. Click on the Plugged In under the Lifestyle tab. And coming up in sports, the 2012 high school football season kicks off tonight. Clearwater's fall baseball season starts tomorrow afternoon with a doubleheader. And the Cardinals try to make up ground in their division this weekend against the Cincinnati Reds. These stories and more coming up in sports on 18 Eyewitness News. Attention, Accutane warning. If you have Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or inflammatory bowel disease, it may have been caused by the acne drug Accutane. Accutane victims have recently been awarded millions of dollars. Do not delay. There are time deadlines to file a claim. Call the Rely On Group now to be connected with an experienced attorney. There is absolutely no risk on your part. You don't owe us a penny unless we are successful. Call the Rely On Group at 800-698-3105. If you have diabetes and you're on Medicare, call now to get the new talking meter. These new meters are more accurate, they're easier to use, and the best news is you don't have to prick your fingers anymore. Areva makes it simple. They bill Medicare directly. There are no upfront costs. And they deliver your supplies right to your door for free. For more information, call 1-800-587-7095. This is Sports Zone, only on 18 Eyewitness News with Jeremy Martin. The Farmington Knights will kick off their 2012 football season tonight by traveling to Festus. The Knights are looking to build on last year's season, even after losing a number of starters to graduation. But head coach Todd Vaughn says that's just part of high school football. You know, the thing is, is as far as losing kids, I mean, that's part of high school. I mean, that's we don't get to go out and recruit. We, we got what, what we've been given, and, and you try to make the best out of it. And, and uh, I think we have some kids that are ready to play. It's just a matter of them getting some experience and some confidence. You can hear the game between Farmington and Festus live on our sister station, Froggy96, or online at froggy96online.com. Or you can watch the game Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock right here on KDKZ. Other local games of interest include the Fredericktown Black Hats opening their season tonight on the road at Kennett. You can hear that game live on our sister stations, Mix 103.9 FM and AM 1450, or watch it Sunday at noon right here on KDKZ. Also tonight, the North County Raiders will host Jackson, while the Park Hills Central Rebels will host Sullivan. And Saturday afternoon, the Potosi Trojans are at home up against Confluence Prep Academy.
Clearwater baseball head coach Joey McAllister expects scoring runs won't be a problem this season. McAllister says the Tigers may have lost last season's home run and RBI leaders, but they've reloaded. We still got some, you know, we still got some middle of the lineup that's going to be able to hit the baseball. We got a sophomore that's, uh, you know, had a really good, uh, you know, really good Legion season, hit eight or ten home runs for the Legion team, hit about 450 for him. So he's going to be in the middle of the lineup a lot more now. And, um, you know, we're just going to have to see how the, um, you know, how the rest of it goes. The Tigers open their season Saturday afternoon with two games at home, Cooter at 1 o'clock and Greenville at 3 o'clock. You can hear both games live on our sister station, Kickin' Country 105. Well, Dustin Cop looks like the worst part of our hot, dry, drought-ridden summer is behind us. We're seeing more patterns of rainfall move into the area. Is that what we're going to continue to see, you think, into the fall? It looks like some more rain is starting to build in for the next several weeks. Let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. We do have some rain building in for tomorrow evening into Sunday. Temperature around tomorrow around 92 degrees, 86 on Sunday and Monday with showers and thunderstorms. And then in the low 90s for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, plenty of sunshine. It looks like scattered thunderstorms moving back to the forecast on Friday with another temperature around 91 degrees. But uh, with those low 90s and those thunderstorms, I think we can handle the heat that you want to call it. We're, we're used to the 100 plus degree weather. Oh my so, goodness, you bet. So I guess we can handle the, the uh, 91, 92 degrees. But you know what's really funny is every time you come back from Florida, I always have to inch up that... Uh, Degree a couple I've of, noticed that a couple of times. Because right? uh, yesterday it was in the 80s. Mm -hmm. so. Well, maybe. I don't know if I'm pulling it up here with me or not. But anyway, uh, folks, that does it for us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock with more. Until then, have a blessed weekend, and God bless everybody. The news doesn't stop here. Just go to kdkz18.com for your latest news, weather, and sports. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Have a good evening, everybody. News Watch is next. We'll see you tonight at 10. Do you see news happening in your neighborhood? Email us at news at kdkz.tv. Here's what's coming up tonight on KDKZ 18.